Oh, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well I just wanted to uh, give you a bit of an update on the plants that I've got in the uh, plug plant uh, trainer and uh, you'll see in uh, row three the southern giant curled uh, mustard and uh, in tray B the beetroot sabuto uh, F1 uh, have done quite well. In real time this is day seven so uh, it is Saturday the 13th of March. So I do need to get uh, some of these plants out, the, especially the currants, uh, get them acclimatised in the uh, coal frame that I haven't done. I haven't stripped the uh, square foot gardening out fully yet. These are the two um, cabbages, the graffiti. So this is tray eight. And uh, there's row three. So one's on the left, two, row three. Uh, row four is the Bloom's Oak Long Standing Spinach and then uh, we've got a row of the Ruby Fresh Baby Switch Charge and the last two on the end are the uh, Sabutio uh, Beetroot again, or Sabuto. I'm quite pleased with those but obviously learning because I'm not going to be able to get those all out at the same time but these uh, it's a, this is a tray B I'm not sure whether you can see that because of the lights but there's not many cells not come through and some of them take uh, longer than others but uh, I'm quite impressed with those and I'll be doing a review on those once I've got a few things uh, growing right off up to the plot so we're up at plot, uh, up, the, up at the plots, uh, my allotments, plots one and two. This is plot three. And this time last year, we were just getting these uh, raised beds sorted. I was going to two beds high. I'm uh, going to increase them to three. Uh, that will be a nice height because uh, that is uh, roughly to the uh, top of my legs. So uh, limited bending. And uh, with all the uh, bits and bobs I've got in place, the screws holding the beds up off the ground so that we don't draw uh, much moisture up. And then these have, I don't paint them, these have uh, a chance to breathe. So last year, this is my project with uh, all the, uh, the raised beds and all the uh, pallet collar beds, uh, including covers, etc. And of course this year, 2021 I'm uh, trying to sort the polytunnel out and it's been very very windy and I took the precautions of uh, tying everything down and uh, everything's quite good so again 2020 the raised beds 2021 the polytunnel so my uh, my long roots have again uh, I've uh, I've not had the chance to get things sorted so today I'm going to get the uh, bottom four get the compost in and get my uh, fertilizer in with it uh, I've screwed the gutter in to the sides so that it doesn't slide down and I've had the uh, thoughts to uh, put that bit of polycarbonate there uh, to create uh, a, a greenhouse on the top especially because this uh, after September we're allowed 12 months you're only allowed the giant vegetable to be in the ground for 12 months so just after this show I'll be uh, starting everything again and I'll prove that with the parsnips because we sowed some parsnips at the uh, end of September last year and uh, they're looking uh, quite good so it'll be interesting to uh, to see uh, how uh, how they're doing leave them alone but if i would got a parsnip uh, this big at this time of the year it's got plenty of growing time uh, throughout the summer to get the uh, length uh, i need to not be embarrassed when i enter it into the uh, show last year i tied uh, black plastic bin bags to the ends of the four uh, gutters that we had and uh, if you remember we had some pond liner that was given to me and I've made a little pond at the end so when the roots travel the four meters 
like they did last year some of them they can drop in the water this water will have some sort of uh, fertilizer in but these are on a drip feed so any goodness will come down here into here I'll lower this and empty it out give it some fresh water fresh rain water and then over the summer it'll build up and then as the roots pop out I'll make sure that uh, they've got water to go into this will all be covered in the dark so the roots will continue to grow so we've sieved the compost into the wheelbarrow uh, just to get rid of uh, the bigger lumps that we always get so this is um, 60 litres 60 litre bags and uh, we've got this much uh, uh, bigger stuff I'm not saying it's no good that's ideal that will break down over time a lot of it if uh, you was to uh, rub it, it it would go away but obviously they've got added ingredients ingredients in here so this is my compost of choice at the moment a little bit more expensive but uh, multi-purpose uh, is what it is and that's what uh, these will get this year i'm just desperate to uh, get them in or get the compost in and cover them up so a bit of pause and record uh, so that i don't bore you to death I'm struggling to get um, a good view so we'll just do this uh, small bit here but the angle of this needs to be enough so that the roots travel down but not too much as all the compost shoots out the end uh, when it gets wet and into the um, uh, container below so realistically i'm going to get a little bit of compost in the bottom and then what we do is fit the gutter in uh, over the top so i'll continue now get this one done while you're here and then you can get a bit of a close-up how i fit the gutter in and uh, it is showering so i may have to move you good morning uh, mr robin um so we've got some of the uh, magic ingredients uh, that uh, i've purchased uh, for this basically top secret that's brute fish and bone and hoof and horn with a, a very light sprinkling of cal calcified seaweed now I put it on the top I don't mix it in the roots come down the bottom as the moisture uh, is taken up by the compost when we drip feed it when it needs it these will drop down and if the roots want to come up and grab that they can do there's more fertilizer here than there will be at the top. I'll thin it out and within a couple of foot of the top, there'll be no, no nutrients at all because we don't want these uh, roots uh, to fork. We want it to, uh, a, a single tap root to keep running for at least six meters. These are four meter gutterings. Now, Joe Atherton, who's the world record holder, why not Google it, longest vegetables. Uh, he's given me lots and lots of tips but obviously he wants um oh dear mister what are you doing there he's given me lots and lots of tips but obviously they want a little bit of competition but they don't want beating but some of his world records i'll come second in the longest beat route last year and he broke the record uh to just under uh, i think it was just under eight meters uh just unbelievable but uh it's a great hobby to have and uh, I enjoy it very much. So anybody that's really wanting to have a little go at this, it's just a case of uh, trying to get your white gutter in at... Uh... ...four metres long. Now if you uh, approach uh, the people that change people's gutter in fascia board, they'll, they'll be really pleased just to uh, get shut of it. So. I'm going to move it up the top there to within uh, 150 mil, and then we just squeeze and squeeze this one into the other one and then uh, we'll cable tie it up. These are the holes that I used to water from before but then I realised gravity feeding which I'll show you uh, in a bit, the tank anyway. Is a lot better because I can switch it on when I get at the allotment and then switch it off before I go depending on how much water they need and of course leave it on and forget all about it I must get myself a little alarm clock so that's in 
Uh, I'm just using zip ties. You can undo these zip ties so they can be used again. If you, the zip ties aren't long enough, then just uh, join them together. And this will stop it from uh, pushing out. Uh, I need to cover some of the other holes up. Uh, we, need, we don't want the light to get in. And the white on the top uh, reflects the heat so it doesn't get too hot in there for the, uh, the long routes. I'm running this blindly, I've, done, I've had good success, so I'm just learning from a mistake, mistakes. I'm not sieving the compost as thin as it should be. We should be using a fire guard, but uh, until I've got more time on my hands, uh, this will do for now. Just got that sorted, just remember to uh, trim them off a little bit, because uh, you only get a poke in the eye once. So, health and safety, as always, there's the uh, old step ladder. Uh, there's a rope there to uh, assist me up and down. Uh, we should always have uh, three points of contact. And uh, there's the barrel on top of the shed that gets filled up with more of my pumps using the uh, solar panel that's behind the uh, Bug Hotel. Uh, this uh, irrigation pipe split sits there nicely with uh, a cable tie and uh, last year we had the four roots on the go on the top i filled the top ones up before i did the bottom ones so i couldn't get at the bottom ones so we're doing the bottom ones first this time learning all the while and there's the drip feeders and they're adjustable on off or just a slower slower drip and that's just enough water to let it go nice and slowly but not quickly and uh, fire everything out the end. And there's that bit of polycarbonate that we've put in there. And then I shall build something more permanent that side, but then I'll need to be able to have it easily taken apart to get at everything, uh, to check everything, uh, because as it gets warmer, uh, we don't really want them inside. But I oh, will see, I'll see how they fare. They may do better, similar to being in a, a polytunnel. And, uh, Hopefully, we'll be fine. And there's uh, the gap, and that's where, I did put end caps on last year, but there's no need for them. So uh, we've got enough planting area. I shall put, like normal, three or four seeds there. The first one to show, it looks like it's going to uh, be a really good, good one. I will cut off the rest. I'll be doing long carrots, long parsnip, long beetroot and uh, the, uh, the the radishes so that's all the uh, spare guttering i'll use the brown at the bottom and then use the white on the top depending on the lengths uh, there's some shorter pieces there that will be going on the polytunnel up there to uh, collect the water off the tunnel and i can't see any point in keeping you holding any longer i'll get all this done and uh, i can put the cross members on then and sit the others on similar to that up there and i'll see if i can get all eight uh, done today or i'll do four and then go off and do another job please remember to hit the thumbs up thumbs down and uh, leave me a comment uh, happy gardening to you all till next time my friends ta for now